right, here we are at the duckweed pond, waiting for the reading for the dissolved oxygen. It's at about 4.2. Here's the pond. So here I am carefully opening it. As soon as it opened, some oxygen got in, but that won't skew it too much. So I'm gonna put a paper towel under here to catch the excess water as it comes out. And so now I'm gonna take my dissolved oxygen probe and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my sample and I'm going to wait about a minute for the number to stabilize. Alright, so after a minute you can see that our reading here is 3.7 milligrams per liter. So here's a pond at the Riparian Preserve and over here I have my husband taking dissolved oxygen reading of the pond. Here we have our water sample from the Gilbert Riparian Preserve, one of the ponds. And now we're going to go ahead and check the dissolved oxygen of it after it's been a few days. So we have our dissolved oxygen probe here in distilled water warming up. And I'm going to go ahead and take this sample. I'm going to go ahead and pour it in a beaker so it make it easier to measure. And now I'm going to go ahead and take my measurement here. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it for about a minute and we'll grab the reading once it stabilizes in about one minute. So after one minute, our dissolved oxygen has stabilized at 2.7 from this pond. I'm gonna show an example of a sample of water that has extremely low dissolved oxygen. So this was taken from the Santa Clara River in uh, December of 2016 and it's full of debris. And so this sample actually came from river water that had run through a watershed that had burned the previous summer. And so it had collected ash and debris and all kinds of things in the water. And the water was, we would say it's filthy but it has high turbidity, almost completely blocking any sort of light that goes through, and it has a lot of debris. So when this was collected, I did not take the dissolved oxygen at that time, but by the time we tested it in the lab, it had gone the lowest that I had ever seen. So let's see what it is today, a year later. Here's a picture of when we collected that water sample. Notice how the water is very brownish black. That is runoff from ash and debris from fires. Now as I pour, I do add a little bit of dissolved oxygen or a little bit of oxygen to the water, but it isn't going to dramatically affect it. And so we'll wait for one minute for this reading. After one minute, you can see that the number has stabilized at 0.3 milligrams per liter. So this is completely anoxic. This is almost zero oxygen in this water. And again, that's because there was so much debris and ash in this water from the fire 